Hello everyone, I am Janela Ortiz, BS Criminology from Section India. So for today's video, I'm gonna discuss the parts and their function of SLR camera, or should I say single lens reflex camera. Before I explain their parts and functions, let's first define what is an SLR camera. So, a single lens reflex camera, or should I say SLR, is a camera that typically uses a mirror and prism system. Hence, reflects from their mirror's reflection that permits the photographer to view through the lens and see exactly what will be captured. So, the main advantage of a single lens camera over its point-and-shoot counterpart is... Uh, um, you can control the shutter speed and aperture settings. This allows you to have more creative and control over the resulting photograph. SLRs also usually have detachable lenses and the ability to use external flash, resulting in more components than basic film camera. Aperture the camera's aperture is the diaphragm located in the lens of an SLR camera. It controls the width of the opening that lets light into the camera and influences how much of the depth of a photograph is in focus. Basic SLRs have an aperture ring located close to where the lens meets the, bo the camera body. Newer SLRs have a selector dial and a digital panel that displays the aperture setting as a number, such as 4 or 5.6, for example. The next part is the shutter speed or ISO for short. The SLR camera contains a shutter that determines how long light enters the camera. It controls whether moving objects will appear sharp or blurry. Basic SLRs have a shutter speed dial on top of the camera body marked with numbers that can range from 1 to 1000, representing fraction of a second. Sometimes, these cameras have film speed or ISO. Selector embedded with the dial, you can assist by lifting its edges and twisting it to the desired film speed. Digital displays SLRs let you choose the shutter speed and ISO with a selector dial. Lens Most SLR cameras have a detachable lens so you can choose between long short, normal, or zoom options. You may have to hold down a lens, release button on the front of the camera body, and simultaneous twist it to unlock it remove the lens. Lenses and camera bodies are marked with a small dot of particular color to show you where to insert a different lenses and twist it to lock the position. Shutter Release Button and Film Advanced Lever The shutter release button works just like counterpart on a point-and-shoot camera. When you press it all the way down, the camera makes an exposure. Older cameras also have a film advanced lever that moves the film into, into place for the next exposure. You cannot, un you cannot make another exposure because pushing it before pushing it forward, newer SLRs automatically advance the film for you. Next is the flash hat show. Many SLR come outfitted with a flash hat show on the top in the center of the camera body. The hat show is a small area surrounded by two metal or plastic grooves with small circle sensors in the middle. These sensors help the flash and camera communicate so you can make proper exposure with an attached flash. Rewind the release button and rewinder. 
while newer SLRs automatically rewind film when it is done. This process is manual with an older camera. The film release button is located on the bottom of the camera body underneath where you load the film. Once you press it, you can use the rewinder crank on the top of the camera body to rewind the film back into its cartridge.